Have you seen Star Wars? <laughs> Since The Phantom Menace released in 1999, we've known that the Sith Order has followed the Rule of Two, and this rule states that there should be only two Sith at any given time. No more, no less. You have a master to embody the dark side, and an apprentice to crave it. Now this has been the standard rule for the Sith Order since Darth Bane was around. He was the first Sith to introduce this, and this book, this new book, The Secrets of the Sith, not only explains the Rule of Two in its new version, but it also compares it to the Dyad, which is something that we're going to talk about today as well. So before we get into all this, please leave a like on this video to support the channel. It only takes a few seconds and it does go a long way, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now let's get into what this new book says about the Rule of Two and the Dyad. Doctrine. This book is Secrets of the Sith. It's written by Palpatine himself, so all of this comes directly from him. And here's what he has to say about the Rule of Two in this new book. He says, A millennia ago, the Sith and Jedi were nearly equal in number, but unchecked ambition and infighting turned our order against itself. Weakened by their own hand, the Sith were nearly wiped from existence by the opportunistic Jedi. But there was a Sith Lord who survived the calling, the great Darth Bane. It was he who reshaped the Sith creating a new hierarchy to ensure the survival of our order. His rule too dictated that only two Sith Lords could exist at any one time, a master to possess the unlimited power of the dark side and an apprentice to covet it. But no Sith is ever content merely coveting power. A true Sith Lord takes that power for themselves. Lord Bane's own apprentice struck him down to claim Bane's place, and so began a magnificently vicious cycle. Many Sith apprentices, myself included, have supplanted their masters in order to ascend, yet not all apprentices survive long enough to seize the power they were taught to desire." So that's his take on the Rule 2, and not just his take, the actual canonical explanation of the Sith Rule 2 at this point, which is not different at all than what we had from the Expanded Universe version of the Rule 2, and it's all pretty much the exact same. Darth Bane is still the creator of it, his apprentice did kill him, even though we don't know if he actually brought in a second apprentice like he did in the original novels, and the Sith and Jedi actually matched each other's numbers before the Rule 2, which is interesting because George Lucas has pretty much always said that there was never a lot of Sith, it's always just been two Sith, that's how it's always been for them, and it seems to constantly be the notion in Star Wars that we're not going to abide by that, we're going to have thousands of Sith just because it's cool, and then eventually Darth Bane comes in and reshapes the order. So I do like this explanation for it, and I do hope that when it comes to the timeline of things, it seems like Darth Bane is still the one who installs this order, so before him there are thousands of Sith, which could still be the time of Darth Revan. Darth Revan was before Darth Bane, so we could still have a lot of Sith during that time of the Old Republic, and that is going to be a new video game remake they come out within a few years, so we could see more Sith in there, but we have opportunities now. But let's get into what Palpatine had to say about the Dyad of the Force and how it works. So bear with me, this page is a little longer than the one about the Rule of Two, but there's a lot more to go over, and it's a lot more intriguing in my opinion. So this is called a Dyad in the Force, and it says, There are a few secrets of the Force I have yet to master, but our Order's ancient prophecies speak of one fabled manifestation unseen for generations, a Dyad. This pairing of two beings strong in the Force, linked together by an unbreakable bond, creates a power as strong as life itself. For millennium, the Sith have adhered to the Rule of Two, but this decree is said to merely be a pale imitation of its predecessor, the Doctrine of the Dyad. Legends claim that two beings sharing this profound connection gain access to a great number of abilities, skills beyond the grasp of even the most powerful force wielder. Members of the Dyad were believed to be capable of transferring their life force to heal others. Some could even pass physical objects through time and space in an instant if two Sith were bonded so deeply as to transcend their physical beings, the power they could unlock together would know no limits. The next passage is called Broken Bonds, and it says, The Dyad is an elusive connection, one that cannot be created through will alone. My master Darth Plagueis attempted to forge such a bond with me, though he was wise in the ways of the Force, he proved unworthy of the task. I too attempted to facilitate such a connection between my apprentice Anakin Skywalker, yet even with the so-called Chosen One at my side, the balance we shared paled against the perfection of the Dyad. If the two most powerful bloodlines in the history of the galaxy, Palpatine and Skywalker, could not produce such a bond, the question remains if a Dyad is possible at all. And the last part says, Forging the Future, and it says, The doctrine of the Dyad was etched into the walls of my citadel on Exegol eons ago, a constant reminder of its significance to the, our order. 
To my Sith Eternal, the Diet is not merely the stuff of ancient legend, it is the future of the Sith, the key to unlocking the full potential of the Dark Side. But if a new Dyad is to be formed, with whom shall I share its legendary power? Is doubtful young Kylo Ren will ever prove himself a more worthy apprentice than his grandfather Lord Vader, perhaps then my long-lost granddaughter will accept her birthright and rule the galaxy by my side. My vision has not been made clear. One thing is certain, when a new Dyad returns once more, it shall usher in a dawn of new era. I will be there to claim its power in the name of the Sith. Uh, I messed up the last few parts, but that doesn't really matter. What mattered was most of what he was saying about the Dyad and its history and its legend. It's weird that it was in Exegol, which is like the Sith, one of the Sith homeworlds and, you know, unknown region era of the Sith Order and whatnot. And it, it doesn't make much sense to me that they would have the Doctrine of the Dyad and then Bane would say, okay, I need to make the Rule of Two based off the Dyad. I mean... I guess in hindsight it does make sense the way we're talking about it, but the way we've understood Star Wars history was, at first there was just the Sith Order, then there was the Rule of Two, and now there's the Dyad, which the Dyad was introduced, the introducing the Rise of Skywalker, because that's when we found out that Kylo Ren and Rey did have a Dyad. And I don't mind the idea of a Dyad of the Force. It's a little weird to me, it's kind of like the chosen one thing where it's like, oh, you just happen to be the most powerful thing going on, and I don't really like that because I feel like it's kind of cheap and easy writing, but I'll put that to the side. I don't like the idea that the Rule of Two is based off the Dyad. I really feel like the Rule of Two should have been its own thing for the Sith, and I do think it worked. Even if you don't agree with it, I do think it worked. And in my mind, if they already knew about the Doctrine of the Dyad, why didn't they follow that from the beginning? Why didn't they try doing that countless times? It just seems like adding the dyad isn't the worst idea. I feel like adding it in conjunction to the rule of two is the bad idea, and I really wish they would keep them separated because I, I even feel like the, the Jedi would know about the dyad. The Jedi haven't said anything about the dyad, and I feel like if they found out about this, they would approach it a little bit different, right? Like, what would they do? Would they want two people to have this connection in the Force? Would they think this is sacred or something? Would they try to make this connection? Or do they think the Force does this by itself? Which seems to be the case because not even Plagueis or Sidious, who are two of the most powerful Sith Lords of all time, they couldn't even make the Dyad happen. But then at the same time, in The Last Jedi, Snoke did say that he is the reason Rey and Kylo Ren could see each other. So it having the Dyad kind of makes things a little messy. The only other Dyad that we know about would be Darth Revan and Bastila Lashan in The Old Republic, but we don't even know if that's canon yet. So I do hope it does become canon. I do hope we learn a little bit more about the Doctrine of the Dyad, but uh, I'm not I'm not holding out on that anytime soon. I think it's going to be a few years before we explore the Rule 2 and before we explore the Dyad even more. But tell me your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you guys think about the Rule of Two versus the Doctrine of the Dyad? Which one do you think is more powerful? Which one do you think the Sith should go for? Should they stick to the Rule of Two because of the Dyad, or should they only focus on creating the Dyad in the Force? Because if I was an apprentice and I wanted to defeat my master. I don't feel like having a diet in the forest would be fruitful. I feel like Plagueis had that good idea because he wanted him and Palpatine to be equal, and I think Palpatine just wanted to be the master and then have the other person in the diet just be his apprentice. I don't think that would have worked out either way. So tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're interested in picking up this book, Secrets of the Sith, click the link in my description below and save 15% off your order by using the code Star Wars Saga. I'm Star Wars Only. I'll see you all next time. And may the Force be with you always.